Hello guys, it's me Mercy and welcome to Beans for Productions and today I got another video for you guys. Look, I reacted to episode 1122 of One Piece but once again after a while of not happening to me the freaking recording didn't stay properly so it all went away in waste. I'm so mad about it, but you know what? I'm just like, oh well, how about we do a review instead? And me fanboy about this episode. So, before I begin, do not forget to leave a like in this video. Subscribe to my channel for more. And press the bell for notifications when my videos comes out. Also, Please share this video with your fellow friends and One Piece fans so they can watch my content. Without further ado, let's begin. So, this episode, I'm going to talk about the staff because they're the true MVPs of this episode. Because, bro, this episode was directed and storyboarded by Yasunori Koyama with assistance and storyboard of Kasumi Chizuka. First of all, this Noriko Yama is a beast. This episode wasn't really goaded without him. So let me tell you what episodes he directed in Story Boy 2. First is 1075, which is all about Orochi and his dad and the, and the start of the clash of the Bayan Gun with the flame dragon Bagua. You know that episode I'm talking about. That episode was really amazing too. And 1028, which is a controversial episode because of all the golden auras and stuff. And Luffy learning to unlock his advanced conqueror's hockey. Yeah, but, but you can tell that the direction of the storyboard was also great too. This man, Zenor Koyama, after a year of not making an episode, he's back. And actually, this is the last episode before the six month break. So let's say that we ended on a banger. We ended on a high note. Now for the animation part, there's a lot of people working on this episode animation wise, which is probably why it looks so good. First we have Katsuya Isada, Keita Saito, Kasumi Chizuka, Hiroyasu Oda, Chisa Chiharu Akakura, Akihiro Ota the Goat as assistant, and Rireka Furatani, in assistant 2. For me, the stand up for me is Kashumi Shizuka and Akihiro Ota. Because those guys were golden. And animation wise, with, with the key animation, you get that Shira, Kashumi Shizuka, maybe, I don't know, and Akihiro Ota, especially him, they were the MVPs of this episode, key animation wise. Yo, this episode was so good and emotional. The thing about Koyama, that he's so great. He's so great at making emotions. Making things look epic and emotional. For me, no One Piece episode director or storyboarder has the capacity in that level that Koyama has. Because, bro, this man, he's so good. Like, for me, my favorite part about him is not only the emotional stuff, but the visuals, the way he does the visual storyboard and the way he directs everything. It's just, it, it has such artistic pleasure, like artistic aesthetics. Like for example, in, in, some, in some scenes, like you see how he uses like, you know, the black and white, like kind of like an art style. And he kind of uses the colors too, like the colors and stuff. And how he makes everything look so visually pleasing to watch. That's Kojama in a nutshell. And this man literally made a banger with this episode. Probably my favorite episode by him so far. Because he has everything. Emotion, animation, storyboard, direction, music is on point. Everything was so on point. Kobe doing that honest impact. My God. Akihiro Ota and Koyama and Shizuka. I think Shizuka was part of the, part of the scene, right? I don't know. But the ones who work on that on that scene and that the guys got to divide too. Mwah. 
that was chef kiss amazing like yo the pacing for me was okay -ish. but for me it didn't bother me and it didn't ruin the episode at all for me it makes things better because of the tension the impact everything was great and yo you have to see this episode to believe it because bro Kobe finally shows that you need to respect this man. You can say he's not on Luffy's level or Kyle's on Big Mom's, fine. But compared to how, how he was in the beginning, he's grown a lot. And that honestly impact was really all of his hard work show in one move. And he was capable of destroying the arm from the island that Babalo Pizarro was going to use to crush the Navy, the Navy boat with. Yo, everybody did a great job in this episode. The glassy divide too was great. Like, yo, yo, it looks so good, bro. Everything in this episode looks so good. And also, it's especially pleasing to watch. Yo, the music, the music at the end. When Garp, when Garp was straight up just telling people to just leave him behind so they can so they can save the future of the Navy, that music was goaded. Yo, people tell me that, that, like, I see one Twitter, one Twitter account make a poll about, about, you know, when it's to change after One Piece comes back from the break. And, and he just added a good soundtrack. <laughs> I'm just like, yo. Fine, you can tell it can repeat sometimes the same song, but when the music goes hard, it goes hard. So I'm just like, bro, please do not be an idiot. One Piece has a good soundtrack, and they actually be implementing new music too. Like this, that the one at the end of freaking the episode with Garp and everything. So, bro, overall. That episode was so good. Yo, I really wish you guys can see me read this episode because I was just like, my jaw was dropped in so many moments. And I was literally just like, you can see from my look in my eyes, I was like looking at everything be, be some beautiful. I was like, yo, I, I almost see her up at the end. And I, actually from, honestly, impact until the end, I was I was like, I almost see her up because they handled that moment so well. So, yo, we ended on a high note. So, thank you, Koyama, and thank you to the One Piece staff for giving us this great ending before the break. Like, a great ending episode. And I wish them good luck. And when they come back, I wish them also a really good luck. And I can wish them good health and good strength because they're going to come back strong. They're going to come back stronger than ever. And I can wait for that. So, what do you guys think of this episode of episode 1122 of One Piece? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Did you love those amazing visual moments from the episode? Comment down below and let me know. So, do not forget to leave a like in this video. Subscribe to my channel for more. And press the bell for notifications. When my videos comes out. Also please share this video with your fellow friends. And One Piece fans. So they can watch my content. This was Mercy from Peaceful Productions. And I see you guys in the next video. Au revoir.